All right, today we're going to compare the Snap-on 3.8 cordless against Earthquake 3.8 cordless. Uh, the Earthquake is 20 volt battery, the Snap-on is 18 volt. They're both 4 amp hour batteries and they both have a, I guess you call it gas gauge for the battery. It shows how much charge is in the battery. That's the Earthquake. There's the Snap-on. They're both fully charged. Uh, Snap-on is just a little bit older. This thing's probably six months. And then I bought this one about two months. So this has had a little bit more use, but I mean, not that much. It should be pretty comparable. First thing I've noticed is the Snap-on seems to have a higher RPM than the Earthquake. Here's the Snap-on. And here's the earthquake. And again, that is definitely got a higher RPM than the earthquake. Uh, the one thing I've noticed with the earthquake, and I don't know if this is with all of them, but there is like a retainment ring right here, which, you know, once you put your socket on, that keeps your socket from falling off. It was really tight when I got it. I mean, I could hardly get a socket on there. And then I had to use like a screwdriver to pry it off. So, what I did is I just took like a, a grinder. Here, I'll show you. Like either one, something like that, or like that. Um, but, so what I did is I just kind of, real lightly, just went around, ground that down a little bit, and then just Kept trying to put the socket on until it was, it go on easy but still hold it, so I wouldn't have to pry it off. That's just the one thing I noticed with that earthquake. We're gonna do some torque tests. I don't have any fancy equipment to see how far it torques down. So what we're gonna do is I got a nut and a bolt set up here in the vise, and we're just gonna take turns with them. Torque it down as far as we can and then use a torque wrench to see how much torque it takes to pop it loose. And then for another test, what we'll do is we'll just keep torquing that down and then see what the limit is for it breaking it loose. So we'll start with the torque down first. Okay, we're going to start out with the earthquake. And they are, both of them, variable speed. And you just pull the trigger back a little bit, and it goes a little. Okay. Now, let's see how much torque it takes to bust it loose. Looks like about 50 pounds. It has 50 pounds. Torque, break that loose. Okay, <clears throat> now let's do the snap on. socket warm okay that was about 60 pounds let's try the earthquake again Got and about 
same thing, 50. Okay. And snap on is very well speed also. Step on again. Hope they're going the right way. And sixty again. So they seem to be consistent. This poor nut and bull are gonna be hammered by the time we're done with this. All right, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a torque wrench and just start torquing it and then see what the breakaway is on. I got the torque wrench set at 90 pounds. So right there. So we'll do the snap on first, 90 pounds. No problem. We'll retorque it to 90. Yeah, let's get it. Right there. Okay. Now the earthquake. problem. Alright. Let's turn this up to 100. Fat, let's just go 110. Okay. 110. Okay. We'll do this earthquake first. Problem. Okay, I'll get this back up to 110. Okay. And a snap on. Again, no problem. If I, I think I just stripped it. <laughs> Yeah, it's stripped. We pounded it too much. All right, let me see if I can find something okay, else. Okay, I found what looks like an old Volkswagen lug. And then I found a lug nut that fits it. So, it's 130. Okay, now I didn't have any... 3-8 sockets that were big enough to fit this, so we're going to have to use the adapter to go to the half inch. Okay, so there's an earthquake. 130 pounds. And it won't do it. Okay, now snap on. Actually, let's retorque this first, make sure. That earthquake didn't loosen it up some. Okay, it's still 130. And here's snap on. on did it struggling okay 
Now, of course, this is a Harbor Freight torque wrench, so I don't know exactly how accurate it is. Um, but it will still at least give you an idea, you know, comparison to what the tools can do to however tight it is. Okay, so earthquake again. Won't do it. Here's snap on. And it did it without too much problem that time. Let's try, I guess we'll try 140 if we can get it that tight. And supposedly 140. Okay, let's snap on again, see if it'll remove this. Yep. Barely, it was pushing it. It was really struggling. Alright, so there you have it. Snap on is a clear winner. It was uh, every test we did, about 10 pounds more, either tightening or loosening. You know, or breakaway compared to the uh, earthquake. They mean that the earthquake you can pick up, I think it's like 170. And then, if you want, it's like an extra $22 for the one year extended warranty, which covers anything. I mean, you can accidentally throw it on the floor and break it and take it back, and they won't ask any questions. They'll just give you a whole new unit. Uh, yeah, no questions asked. Just bring it in. And they just give you a new one. This comes with one battery. Now, the Snap On, it comes with two batteries. And I think the new batteries for, if you did buy a new battery for the Earthquake, I think they're around $40 maybe. Uh, but the battery life on both of these are really good. You probably get a couple days at least on one charge. We're going to have to charge it up again. Uh, Snap-on does come with two batteries. Now I forgot to look up how much the actual battery is, but I'll guarantee it it's going to be way more than the forty dollars for this one. Snap-on is going to cost you $680 compared to the 170 or say close to 200 if you get the extended warranty. Um, now, if they were like within 50 even like $75 of each other, I'd say get the Snap-on. But I, my personal opinion is that little much of gain in performance isn't worth that much more money. Um, yeah, I mean, especially with, I mean, this might last longer, I guess, time will tell, uh, but with the extent of worry on this, it doesn't really matter, I mean, it, it starts crapping out, and you have the extent of worry, you just go get a new one, uh, and to tell you the truth, this, I have busted loose some really crusty ass, rusty stuff and have had no problem with it and as far as that goes I mean as far as torquing it down I mean, you're hitting 50 pounds I mean that's more enough for any 3 8 faster I mean if it's torque sensitive then you should be using the torque rinse to make sure you got it to the right torque anyways um, yeah so I mean this definitely won it was about 10 pounds on both tests more than the earthquake but like I said the price is big 170 here 680 here <laughs> so take your pick thanks for watching